I have never in my life received a PC that is hairier than my dog. Actually, this PC has more fur than I could ever grow on my face. I think even the fur is growing fur. Time to get your winter coat on. Oh wait, it already has it. We've actually been talking to a mate about getting his PC upgraded to water cooling. At this point, I kind of think I should burn it. He's had the system for quite a while now, and at this point, he wanted to do something special with it and introduce a nice custom water cooling loop to the system. And that's where I come in. G'day guys, my name's Corey, and I run the Designs by IFR YouTube channel. If you know anyone who has less fur than this PC itself, then I think it's necessary you hit that subscribe button. Think of it kind of like a big red panic button. In the system here, we have a Z390 Aorus Master motherboard. And if you peel back some of that fur, you might actually see a 9900K CPU installed. There's also 32 gigs of Corsair RGB RAM, and there's also a beefy EVGA 2080 Ti. And guys, it wouldn't surprise me if there was a few spiders or something inside as well. Jokes aside, let's pull this machine apart, bleach all of the hardware, and give you guys a closer look at all of the components.
So we've got ourselves in a bit of a situation. My mate has only provided us with four of these 14 millimeter tubes. Now, if you take a quick look at the build, you'll see that there is only going to be four tube runs, which means there is no room for error. Now with no room for error, I'm gonna have to stick to just doing 90 degree bends. And unfortunately, he doesn't have enough fittings to do that. So now what I've had to do is I've had to throw in some thermal tape fittings just to account for the extra bends needed for this system. If I didn't just stick to the 90 degree bends and we screw up one of these tubes, bends, I have no 14 millimeter tubes left, so the system won't be able to be complete. All of the water cooling gear purchased was also purchased without taking into account draining the system. There was no drain valve, so I had to throw a thermal take fitting down the bottom, which had an extra port on it, so that it makes it easier to drain the system when it comes time for that. Now, I did a bit of research into this, and this water block right here from EK Waterblocks actually works in reverse as well, with little to no restrictions and compromises in performance. So to make this work with only four tubes, we're gonna have to go up from the pump into the reverse GPU, around the GPU and out into the CPU. Unfortunately, we cannot go in a parallel configuration there because of the size of the fittings, but also because we can't waste any tube in case we do make a mistake. And I can guarantee you, we probably will make a mistake if there's multiple bends in it. So we're going straight up from the GPU to the CPU, and then from the CPU all the way around to the top of the radiator. Now I'm gonna have to have a 90 degree fitting here because as I said, we can only do 90 degree bends just to make sure that we do get all of these tubes nice and perfect. Now from this port goes around the radiator, back to here, and then back down into the reservoir. That'll be the simplest way for us to achieve a nice custom water cooled PC with only four tubes and minimal fittings. So let's go ahead and get stuck into it.
there you have it guys, one dust-free Corpy 5 water-cooled PC build, all complete, ready to go to the rightful owner. For the specs, once again, we have the Z390 Aorus Master motherboard paired with a 9900K CPU. Installed, we have 32 gigs of Corsair memory and none other than the EVGA RTX 2080 Ti GPU. So there's not really much more to say about the build. I hope you all enjoyed this build video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, consider hitting that subscribe button, check out more videos on this channel. I'll leave all of the hardware specs in the description below if you would like to go check those out. Also, if you'd like to become a Patreon or a member, it is greatly appreciated. It helps us out a bunch. So those links will be in the description as well. And if you would like to join our Discord, we'll be over there all the time. So if you want to ask any questions, it's probably the best place for you guys to catch us. So jump on over there. Link will be in the description for that as well. Hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you all in the next one.